Boys, anyone got some honest beer reviews of the... Uh, Anyone impressed? One in four has to be good. Right? Yeah, one in four. What are you oh. impressed with, Aiden? I like the Irish red, actually. It's yeah. like a stone and wood, but without the uh, stone and without the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, what are we starting with? The session? session. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, we'll start with the session. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be going in a second. Oh, hey. Good afternoon guys, Daniel here from Single Malt Jack and welcome back. Uh, just kicking back here with a cricketer's lager and uh, welcome back on Aiden. Thank you, back again, twice in one day, love to see it. <laughs> I reckon we've probably still got another couple of videos left in us today. Why not? Like, we should do one on the kayak. Mate, cracking day, like the lake is out here next to us cracking campsite there's a tree swing behind us i reckon we've got to try that out today like, i don't think we do I, <laughs> I reckon we do it's load rated you'll be fine yeah i don't know the instructions are a bit waterlogged you can't really read them all so it just says beware of submerged i don't even know what yeah. submerged to be aware of oh, i look i reckon it's deep enough but look the sun's shining yeah it's it's epic like it's not too hot probably around what 18 20 degrees today shorts and t-shirt weather it's, yeah. it's just magic so we've just got back from the Granite Belt Brewery. Yeah. Uh, we did a we did a bit of a tasting session and a paddle there. The, the yeah. five of us down with the boys. What were your thoughts? I'm, I'm still kind of Look, gathering mine. First impressions. Walking mm. in looked great. Service great. Mm. Mm. Walking in was awesome. They had mm. the the lounges on the right hand side yep. looked great. A little fireplace. Um, we sat out on the deck. Uh, <laughs> when it came to the the food and beverage, um, yeah, not imp not impressed. <laughs> Yeah, well, look, you know, I don't, I don't like to say anything bad about yeah. anyone or anything, but, um, you know, my mum my always told me, if you haven't got anything good to say, don't say anything at all. Yeah, same. So we're probably going to sit here in silence for the next five minutes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, okay, yeah. look, I, I, en I enjoyed the, the place. I enjoyed the atmosphere. You know, it was worth the drive. I mean, it's Definitely. only 15 minutes down the road from where we're staying. And a big, big shout out to those guys. I thought their little whiskey lounge looked awesome. fantastic. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I could definitely sit there and have a nice whiskey on yep. that nice leather lounge by the big Fire. open fireplace. You know, and we were sitting out on the deck and yep. that was like sun shining, you know, beautiful, yeah. beautiful day um, with the guys. You know, there was only five of us and we had a tasting paddle each and we thought, you know, we'll sample what they've got and, um, you know, run it, run us through yeah, it what we had. It didn't quite hit the mark. So we had yeah. the, we had an IPA, yep. we had a session, yep. we had a African red and we had a lot, we did, African we Irish, tried the lot, the African red. Irish, the Irish red, sorry. Yeah. Uh, why did I say African? I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> we had Irish red. Yeah. Um, we also had a lager yep. bought afterwards, mm -hmm. which is not part of the float. Mm. And we had a pale ale. A pale ale, just that, a yeah, standard pale ale. Standard pale ale. And, um, I don't know, for my for my palate, look, I'm sure it appeals to a lot of people, uh, but I found, you know, just running through them, I found the Session Ale, you know, just, okay, I'm not expecting a, a flavour hit out of the Session Ale, you know what yeah, I mean? But not. to me, it just didn't hit the mark. No, like, it was just absolutely. way too watery, you know, it wasn't, wasn't for, like, there was nothing, there was no substance to it. Yeah, I will give you know? them, so across all of them, I kind of mm. felt that way. Mm. Uh, the Irish Red was my favourite. Mm. Oh, I think it's great. It's horrible. Loving the red. It it tastes like, I'll give you my red. It tastes oh, yeah. like they accidentally <laughs> spilled yeah, some whiskey in it. Yeah, you think it tastes weird? Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. It's got a, it's much thicker. It's, thicker you reckon that's, um, it's very Irish. Uh, Actually, you, you quite enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't ask him whether that was barrel aged. We thought yeah. maybe it might be because it was quite Definitely. syrupy. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, almost had like a little bit of a oaky type. You know, flavour to it. Can mm. you spend a bit of time in the in the whiskey barrel? I do like Guinness. Though. Probably, yeah. Exactly. Like, like, Maybe on a red wine barrel. That's why it's a Irish red. It could be barrel. It's an acquired taste. They could all do with a little bit more um, gas, though. I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, could, I could see what they're trying to yeah. do. Um, you know, for, for me, the the pale ale and the IPA, like especially the IPA. Uh, I'm not a big IPA drinker, but I want it to be nice and fruity, and I want a big hit of hops. Yeah. at the end yeah. and it was not fruity very no. overly malty and not hoppy at all see i felt the ipa was too dark for me like yeah. obviously an ipa is meant to be a bit darker but like mm. just looking at it i couldn't really tell the difference between the irish red and the ipa it and was that was a bit confusing dark. to me yeah. yeah yeah um all in all i mean the environment was nice and mm. 
I feel like I will give it a pass this time just mm. because the environment was great. You know, mm. obviously we're there with good company. Mm. Um, and also just off the back of what's been happening, yep. maybe their barrels are a little bit off or, you know, their kegs maybe yep. been in, in place too long. Yep. Not too sure, but yeah, un unfortunately it was a, a bit of a miss this time around, yep. but I'd go back. Yeah, look, I, I'd definitely give him I'd a second chance. I'd give him a chance. second chance, yeah. You know, and, and, and once again, I mean, on, on this channel and, and also our Instagram, and I know you're the same, like, you know, we really want to be supporting the local businesses. You know, yeah. we're out here on a camping trip, okay, we're supporting this campsite, um, you know, we're going down and supporting the local businesses around around our area, you yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, we're, we're three hours drive west of Gold Coast and Brisbane, yeah. and, you know, first weekend out camping, and, you know, we're having a great time, we thought, you know, why not? Um, you know, let's go. Let's go check out the brewery. See, see what it's all about. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I guess what was a bit of a letdown for me is we we did get a pint at the end of the lager. Yeah. And usually the lager for me is just a nice dry, you know, session type beer. Yeah. And, you know, quite, you know, you know, nice flavors. It's easy to drink. And I don't know for me. I don't know if it's the same for you, but mine was just really sour. Yeah, like I've never sour. never tried a sour lager before, and, um, yeah, no, and if and if not. you are going for that, that's fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I just wasn't expecting it. And yeah. if you are going to go for a sour lager, give us a heads up. Yeah, you know, definitely. put that on the tasting notes and say, hang on, guys, this this lager is sour. Yeah, but you even know? then, it didn't really come across as a lager. Like in the no. mouth, very different. No. <laughs> if no. anything, to me, it was more. I don't know. I, I really don't it was know. A, it was a sour <laughs> yeah, ale. Absolutely. So it was either, either a, a lager that had gone off or it was their attempt of a, a, a sour type of I would have, ale. I, I would argue almost that mm. they might have mixed up the IPA and, and the lager. Cause, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It was it was weird. It was a little bit weird. Yeah. Um, but as we said, great ambience. You know, great really ambience. nice um, nice little bar there, yeah. open fireplace, and, and this is what it's all about up here. You know, we're yeah. a thousand meters above sea level. Mm. You know, cracking winter's day. Like, we're sitting here in the middle of winter, and okay, I've got jeans on, but you're sitting here, shorts <laughs> and t-shirts, and, and no, you didn't even bring your shoes. So, I didn't bring, you know, so, <laughs> I did forget to bring shoes. But, but you know, it's just don't absolutely need them. cracking weather. Um, mm. You know, fantastic, guys. So, you know, thanks for listening to us again about our little rant. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we, we had a we had a good day. Yeah, you know, we, we really, did have a good day. You know, and that's what it's all about. And we, yeah. we did support the local business. Um, you know, we got a we got a few things cooking on the charcoal barbecue over there. So we're gonna head over and uh, we've got some lamb, some sausages and some chicken thighs. So we're gonna head over, finish these beers and get some lunch into us. I will add, if you have been to the granite brewery. Yep. Granite Granite Belt Brewery. Belt, granite Belt Brewery. If you yep. have been there, let us know in the comments below what you thought of it. Mm. Tell us about it and yeah, I, I'd be keen to see some other perspectives because yeah, I would good. like to give them a second chance. Good, good thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good thinking. So there you have it, guys. Um, you know, stay tuned. Thanks again, Aiden. Um, you know, appreciate your time and uh, love sitting here talking to you. Cheers. So, cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.